Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am making shrimp spring roll. Just got back from work and I'm craving shrimp spring roll. This is quite easy to make. It can be a delicious appetizer or main dish. I have already deveined the shrimps and I'm going to now season it. You can choose to season it or not. You want to straighten the shrimps by scoring it just to make it straight. That's up to you. It's more aesthetically pleasing. But if you don't, you can just use it bent. It doesn't matter. I'm going to do a few. And we can get on with the rest of it. These shrimps have already been cleaned and deveined. And you want to actually leave the tail on because it just looks much better when you do it that way. Now I'm going to season these. I'm using a seafood bar. This has a little bit of pepper. A homemade all-purpose seasoning. A dash of light soy sauce and a tablespoon of oyster sauce. You can scale this depending on how much shrimps that you're using. We are going to set this aside and then we'll grab our wrapper. I am using the TYJ spring roll pastry. You can also make your own. We're going to need a brush and water or you can use egg and some people also use cornstarch. I'm going to remove this because it will be difficult to wrap. To wrap the shrimp, what you want to do is to fold the corner of the wrapper, then place the shrimp onto the wrapper and fold the shrimp in the wrapper as a burrito, covering the entire shrimp except for the tail. Dip the brush into the water or cornstarch or whatever you prefer to brush at the edge of the wrap to seal it. And then you get your shrimp roll. Set it aside and then we'll do the rest. In the meantime, we have the oil on the stove. We want to get the oil to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I like to do this real quickly so that the wrappers don't dry up. You want to tuck this in and fold. And you want to wrap it real tight. Now, you don't necessarily have to season your shrimp. Some people don't. I like a little bit more seasoning and more flavor to my food. And I'm using the small size spring roll wrappers. You can use the large ones if you prefer. I use those when I'm actually making the, the spring roll. It is important to make sure that you prep all your shrimps first so that once you start frying, it's pretty simple. Now, of course, you can also air fry these or even bake them. But when you're baking, make sure that you spread them with some oil spray so that they can be crispy. The same thing applies when you're air frying. You can also make these in advance, put them in the freezer and have them frozen and fry them or air fry them as needed. We are done prepping. We are waiting for the oil to get to 350 degrees and then we're going to start frying. The oil has heated up to 350 degrees and we are using extra virgin olive oil. And we'll just start by putting this in there and we are going to fry them in batches, ensuring that you don't overcrowd the pan, making sure that you're separating them. And we want to fry them about two to three minutes till they are golden brown. You want them to separate. Shrimps don't take too long to cook. Because we're frying them in batches, we are going to turn the oven on so that we can keep them warm in the oven. They are all is are cooked completely. We then take them all out and put them in a draining rack. And we repeat. And this is the final batch. This is really good. Oh my God. I can't wait to dig in. This looks amazing. It is so easy to make. It takes little or no time at all. The best part is the taste test. As you can see, I'm already holding and can't wait. So let's dig in. And I'm using our homemade chili sauce. Mm. Mm 
Mm-hmm. You don't even need the sauce. Mm. This is so good. You can use any sauce of your choice. This does not require any sauce at all. You can make this so easily at home. So I'm encouraging you to try it at home and let us know what you think. If this video has been of value to you, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that we can notify you when we upload new videos. This is Dr. Okeke. Thank you and God bless. Thank you.